Afternoon, good evening. We're watching this back out again today because I love it, and it's an amazing day for winter time. The sun is in the sky, bit chilly, bit chilly. Lots of dead leaves on the floor. Um, I'm in a tiny woodland. This woodland must be about a quarter of an acre today. Um, it just goes on to show you don't need a lot of land to metal detect to have a good time to find some goodies. Uh, I'm hopefully going to prove that today by metal detecting this little bit of woodland and it's only little and it belongs to uh, a friend of mine who had the acre of land which i did in my last video this is actually part of his land as well so yeah let's give it a good old smash shall we see what we can find see what pops up off we drop right ladies and gentlemen my first decent signals belong here i have dug a couple of holes already uh one of them being uh looks like an old hinge or something uh and a bottle lid, a bottle top. So there's one here. Sixteen. Quite close to the surface, so we'll give it a bit of a bash. So it could be anything, <laughs> absolutely anything. In the woodland, oh, nothing obvious coming out the hole in my first shovel. Have I got it out? This is the question. Have I got it out the hole? No, Grimmy, it's still in the old. Right, it's still in the old. It's in the far wall. I mispointed, as always, with this bloody Nat 800. Uh, oh. I completely missed it. It's, I can detect it on the top of my pinpointer. Uh, I haven't actually got a little hand trowel anymore. So I, still, I never found it in that field and I haven't bought another one as yet. But it's something that I could really do with, especially in this. Uh, oh, it should be it. <coughs> <Right. laughs> Please be something good. Oh, Ooh, what are you? What are you? Uh, Right, sorry people, it's just another bloody button. But I'll take it. I'll take it. Right, let's crack on. Oh my lord, the wind has just picked up. Trees are creaking. Um, and my next signal. Uh, there's a bloody spoon handle. Keep finding these. Oh, that's a pewter one. It's falling apart in bits. Oh, but it has got a crown on it. Uh, is that a military? Is that a military issued spoon handle possibly? Could be, could be. Right, we'll have that. Off the drop. Right, let's go for a nice little live one. Nice 21, 22. Sounds small as well. Sounds small and close to the top. What's it gonna be, what's it gonna be? I don't know, I don't know. spade round the right way, Mr. Grimmy. Doesn't seem very deep. I think this could possibly be a coin, you know. It does live in hope. If it is, what flavour coin? And if it isn't, what's it going to be? Right, if I just chewed up and made a mess rather than <laughs> extracting the object. It wasn't very deep, so I should... Right, it's still in the hole, obviously. Let's get it out. Whoosh. See, it's where a hand trowel, especially in a wooded area, would be absolutely ideal to have. I don't know if I've got it out, or is it still in the hole? Nothing obvious is out, I don't think. What's that? Bit of leaf. This is off. Whatever it is, it's still here. Oh, I feel something. Oh, it's out. 
Ah, this is a big chunk of lead. Right, let's crack on. Right, ladies and gentlemen, my next signal out of the hole. This is like a bridal ring, but that's got some age to it. So you never know, the old stuff could be here. Yeah, right, let's crack on. Right, ladies and gentlemen, my next signal. It looks like a coin. He looked like a little coin, he does. Or is it a button? Oh, it's too far gone. No, it's definitely not a button. Or is it? Or is it, Grimothy? Little gentle wipe. Uh, it's too far gone. It looks like a really old coin, that one, though. It would have been. Yeah, absolutely nothing on it. I'll take that all day long. This is getting signals. Off a drop. Right, right next to this funky looking fungus, uh, another coin looks at it, looking at it. Uh, I say coin, is it coin? Oh, what are you? That's a little gentle wipe. No, it's very thin. Not a button, is it? Well, let me have a good old clean up, see, oh, I can get some, there's definitely something on it, look. I can see some markings. Let me have a good clean up, anything comes of it, I'll show you. Right, it's the best I can get off it. Uh, it looks pretty blank to me, but that's definitely a coin, not a button. Look how thin it is. Possibly even a jetan, but can't be 100% sure. There's no details on it. I want to find some silver, really. Right, let's crack on. Right, ladies and gentlemen, next signal. Looks like a D buckle. Oh, we do like a good old D buckle. So yeah, this little bit of woodland is proving to be quite fruitful. Yeah, we like that. In the good side. Which is this side with the velcro, so there you go. There you go. Right, let's crack on. I've just seen a white squirrel. I've never seen a white squirrel in my life before. I don't know where he's gone. It was just white, pure white squirrel, bouncing around. I thought it was a bird. Then it ran up a tree. Very strange. Maybe it's a good luck sign. Don't know. Anyway, just thought I'd share that. If I find it again, I'll try and catch it on camera. I'll be pretty quiet. I'll try and get in camera for you guys. Oh, I thought this next signal was going to be a brooch of some description. It isn't. It looks something lock related, of course. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say that's the little bar that locks the door. Got the round bit so it closes and the straight bit so it locks. There's something lock related. Of course it is grim. It's what you dig for. Right, let's crack on. Right, this signal ringing about 10. Uh, I can see an edge of something here. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, my Lord. Only, do you know what? This is the first ever hammered I've ever found in the woods. This is a first ever hammered coin I've found in the woods. <laughs> oh my lord, looks like an Edward. Uh, let me get some squirt out. Oh wow, can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Over the freaking moon is an understatement. And this is literally in a very small bit of woodland. <laughs> So it just goes to show you don't need a lot of land to find something decent. And I'm only halfway through, I'm working my way down from this side. Working my way down, and I've still got to go down that way. But yeah, definitely hammered, definitely silver. <laughs> Get in. <sighs> right, ladies and gentlemen, I've had a bit of a clean up. You can see quite happily that is an Edward Penny. Um, I can make out uh, the E. Where is it? I thought it. Yeah, E D W Edward Edward Silver Penny in a little bit of woodland. I might even give that to the landowner, you know. Hope I find some more. Have a trot. <laughs> right, just had a banging signal. Literally a banging signal. Look at that. It was. It was, it was quite a way down. Got a gun. 
I'm not going to do like all the other YouTubers say, oh, murder weapon found, because it's obviously not a murder weapon. It's a little cap gun. Uh, would have been cool if some kid would have really been disappointed when he lost that. I'm quite happy finding that, because that's complete with handle and everything. It's got a maker's mark on the grip. I'm not too sure. Do you know what I'm going to do? Like I did with Mohammed coin earlier. I'm going to get the landowner. There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Right, fill me all off the truck. Right, I'm just getting it to Lando, and only he's had a little fiddle with it. Look, it only works. How long has that been in the ground? And it only still works. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Right, let's crack on. I'm right, just in the pasture, having a, a bit of a ganders, and it looks like I'm onto another coin. Uh, looking at the thickness and size of it, I'm going to say it's a, possibly a George the third half penny, but let's have a quick ganders. See if we can get a monarch off it. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Is that Lady Britannia or is that a head? Oh, it's possibly George II looking at that. It wasn't that deep either. It was just in the side wall down here. Uh, that side's a bit toasted. Yeah, I'm going to call that a George II half penny. Where's well, George and his Ahmed. You never know what could be next. Off a trot. Um, just like a, this was quite a big, deep bit of lead. Um, definitely some sort of pattern. It looks almost like the word L O V E. So it could be the word love. Uh, it could be like a lead rune or something. I don't know. It's definitely old. It's definitely got a pattern on it, though. But any ideas, please leave in the comments below. Uh, if I remember, I'll stick a better picture up afterwards. Yeah, that is pretty cool to find. Right, off a drop. It'll be lead, I'm assuming. Yeah, here's Ned. I've just chatted to the landowner here. He's come out to keep me company while I'm detecting. I've just pulled this little beauty up. I do believe it's a Saxon game piece with a little hole. It should have a little square peg in the bottom bit here. For the wooden peg would have been. There you go, look. The wooden peg would have been in there. And that's uh, interesting to find, that is. Especially out on the pastures here. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. You never know, I could find some Saxon silver. That'd be brilliant. Nice Saxon penny. Right, let's crack on. All right, got myself a, another signal up here. And this is, uh, it looks to be a very decorative horse brass. Uh, they usually have something on the front. But this is very, very gone. I can't get anything off the front of this one. Uh, no, but that is very decorative for horse brass. Uh, but it's definitely got the fixing points on the back. Ooh, who knows what else we can find. Off a truck. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on to my next coin in the clod. There she is, there she blows. Oh, looking very pretty, oh, ah, looking haggard. Very corroded, just looks like a three decimal penny. Uh, is that George V? Right, nothing to write about, just another George V. Off a truck. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my next signal that pops out of the hole. Special constable. Uh, get in the light there you go kcc special constable is that like a i'm gonna say that's gonna be some sort of button or badge but that is pretty goddamn awesome I found a police badge in the middle of a field can't make it up right on that note off a drop right, i'm with the landowner again um stupid fool the mr grim bleeper here is he went over this hole, and I'm always another signal here, and he goes, you must have, it looks like you've dug that one before. I thought, yeah, but I wouldn't leave anything in the hole though. And all right, I must have found a coin, I forgot there was a pocket spill last time I was here. <laughs> so there's a pocket spill of coins, that one there. Is that, what's that one? That looks possibly, sixpence, nine, ah, oh, it would have been silver, look. 1940 something. That would have been a silver if it was any earlier, you get. But another penny, oh, one penny, two penny, three penny, four penny. <laughs> is that, that's that, Claude. Is it done? Is that done with? Plus these other two half pennies here. So yeah, that was a, a nice little pocket spill I missed. I picked up one of them and left the rest in the hole. Always recheck your holes, like I don't. Right, on that note, let's crack on. Have a trot. All right, I can't even escape these old French Napoleon coins out here. 
<laughs> Napoleon, he's a, he's a French coin. We'll have an eagle, I think, that side, and Napoleon's mug on that side, which is far gone. It looks like it was even made into a medallion that has got a hole in there. Uh, possibly a hole coming out the other side. That would have been pretty goddamn amazing. Uh, I'm also going to give that to the landowner just to say thank you for letting them land, really. Right, let's crack on. Off a drop. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of a hunt. Uh, bloody did all right there, didn't I? Considering I've done that one acre before. I didn't do the woodland before, but it was very small woodland. It was literally just like a little strip of trees and I pulled up a bloody hammer, didn't I? Couldn't believe it. Um, yeah, some of you are like, why did you give the hammer to the landowner? Oh, I would have I kept it. Um, I gave the landowner pretty much all I found, to be honest. It's just to say thank you for letting me on his land. And good things came off that because his neighbour saw me detecting. And I asked his neighbour, who doesn't have one acre, he has ten. So today, I got myself ten acres of fresh land, never been detected. Oh, anyway, boys and girls, um, I'm going back on, oh, I'm going to the ten acres land on my next hunt, so fingers crossed. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, that's what I do. Go out meditating, looking for the hidden treasures beneath our very feet. There, Grim with Lee. Let's get us in. Go back and edit this video for your enjoyment, and off we trot. <laughs>